Leave it 851, turn right heading 180. turn right 245, report localised established 27. 2019 has been without a doubt a testing year for Boeing and their 737 MAX series, with ET302 taking place all the way back in March. However, as the years progressed and we've edged closer to the return date, the 737 MAX has started reappearing. Or has it? Well, the Boeing 737 MAX 10 is an aircraft for the future, and now the latest type in the series to be unveiled. However, similar to the 777X unveiling, it went largely unnoticed, thanks to Boeing's lack of media attention, nor really public reveal. The rollout occurred on the 22nd of November, and we're now coming up to, of course, it being a few weeks ago. The MAX 10 was pitched, designed, and obviously now released to compete with the Airbus A321neo. However, it's definitely safe to say that it's yet to have really caught the type, with the Airbus A321neo having sold over 3,000 units as of December of 2019, and the MAX 10 as of December 2019 having just over 500 on order. Currently, Boeing has slated July 2020 as its entry into service date. However, as we know, these things can be subject to change at any given moment. And considering the situation unfolding now with the series more widely and the software fix, it very well could be delayed. The unveiling was completed at Boeing's Renton facility, once again strictly for Boeing employees, similar to that of the 777X as I mentioned earlier. So what about the specifics though? While the Boeing 737 MAX has a range of some 6,100 kilometres or 3,300 nautical miles, it can also carry a total of 230 passengers. Now the difference between that and the MAX 9 isn't actually that huge, with it actually only being able to carry just 10 more than the MAX 9. When comparing it to the A321neo, its direct competitor, the Neo can carry 244 passengers, so that's 14 more, while having the capability to fly 4,000 nautical miles, around 700 more than the MAX 10. Customers for the MAX 10 at the time of recording include the likes of United Airlines, Vietjet, Fly Dubai, and Lion Air. The middle of the market sector is one that Boeing has ultimately struggled in. As Airbus continues to advance, just recently launching their highly successful A321XLR, Boeing's future NMA, dubbed to be the 797, has really been put on hold due to the grounding of the MAX. It's meant that Airbus has continued to take the market share, and whenever we think of the NMA, or it's just generally mentioned, you immediately think the advanced A321neo series, whereas for Boeing, you think of the aging 757 and 767. What are your thoughts, though, on the 737 MAX 10? Personally, I've always quite liked the design of the aircraft series. When we usually get a modern interpretation of the classic airliner, there's always the risk that the look will be butchered. But I'm honestly happy to see how the series looks aesthetically. Thank you very much for tuning into this video, and I'll see you all in the next one, likely tomorrow.